Hey everyone, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. As you can see, it is an absolutely beautiful Thursday morning here in North Naples, Florida at Del Wiggins Pass State Park. Beautiful blue sky, blue water, sun shining, 70 degrees, 70 degrees. I just finished up my beach walk. Just finished the live feed of my Thursday morning beach walk. You might want to check that out. Beautiful this morning. Expecting the highs to be oh somewhere around 82 to 85, 86 today. We'll see what happens. The water temperature is 71 degrees. But I'm just heading over to see Roy and our friend Barbara Grove. Barbara Grove, the shell lady, is down from Minnesota. She is out here on the beach with her shell collection. Looking forward to chatting with her in a couple minutes. Let me go see how Roy is feeling today. So thankful that Roy didn't suffer any of the side effects from that treatment yesterday. He's doing good. He's got his big smile on his face. Looking forward to our boat trip tomorrow morning and our party this coming Sunday. Hope to see you at the party. And he had beautiful eyes. And oh, here he comes back. I'm back to st hey, Rob, I'm stalking you, you. I'm your paparazzi is here. <laughs> well, Good if morning. that's the paparazzi, I guess we lucked out. <laughs> like old times, the barber. Isn't, isn't it, it like old times? Yeah, I'll tell boy. you what, it's like she never left. Yeah. That's how I feel. And I'm learning a lot from her, too, about shells. Oh, you, you know, like, you're never too old to learn. Well, yeah. he keeps asking me questions I don't have answers to. You don't to. have the answers. Well, <laughs> yeah. those are good questions, then. <laughs> if you can stump Barb, those are good questions. Oh, hey, anybody can stump it's Barb. It's amazing about shells reproducing and how they how they accomplish that. How they reproduce? Yeah. I was talking so how about the, shells, the slipper yeah. shell. Slipper shell. And that's so common on the beach. Anybody can find it. Yep. And it's born male, and it turns female and lays the eggs, then turns male, and fertilizes the eggs. And that's not just just the slipper shell. Others wow. can do the really? same thing. So uh, they just repeat that cycle over they just and repeat over the and cycle. over and over? Wow, yeah. that is amazing. Well, and you see, and you know, most people don't even look at this little shell. Right. And now you'll look at it in an entirely different Absolutely, way. Absolutely, the slipper shell. Well, I always pick them up and show everybody how they look like a little slipper when you turn them over. And now you can tell them the sex life. There's the sex life of a slipper shell. When I One day <laughs> when I had a bunch of Marines around here and they were That's at the beach and they were doing a lot of stuff before they went to uh, training. And I asked one of them if he'd like to know the sex life of a slipper shell. <laughs> and suddenly I had 35 Marines surrounding me <laughs> listening to the story of the slipper shell. That is funny. <laughs> you mentioned that, that word, that ball <laughs> There you go. Man. But that is a very, show everybody the other side, that is a very common shell here. We That's see that a lot on our common. beach walks. The shell, and they, we see them in different colors. Sometimes we see them, they're almost round. Uh -huh. They almost look like quarters or half mm -hmm. dollars, yep. This Different one, colors. this one was killed. You can, ah, okay. you can it's got see, the little hole in it. You, yeah. Well, I can see three holes in oh, here. Oh, wow. And it could be, it could have been... An, another shell doing that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It could have been something like this. That is, look at the size of that. That's from Wiggins. Here. That is a huge moon shell. Shark eye moon shell. Yeah. Beautiful. And that, in this case, because it's a blue center, it's called is, Paul Newman's Eyes. Paul Newman. The Paul Newman. That is, look at the size of that, folks. That what, is, you mean one shell will attack another? Yeah, and that's something. Oh, they not only attack, they eat. Yeah. It's carnivorous. They drill into, they drill, actually, you can see. They drill halfway in. Holes. They drill in. And the then they excrete an acid that goes the rest of the way in, and then they suck out. The, wow. The, so when you see the holes, that's what's happened. Absolutely. And wow. if you see something that has a thousand holes in it, <laughs> a thousand. you think that it's just um, the waves, you know, breaking them down. It's not. 
they were eaten by sponges. You know, I have seen these moon shells actually on top of other shells out here there before you go. the red tide. Yeah. I haven't seen much of anything alive out here since last, you know, since we had that red tide, but I saw lots of these I don't know what you call a snail. What do you call the animal inside of it? What's well, a moon shell? But it, what, what do you call moon, the critter? <laughs> I know. It, is it a it's snail? Or is it known a... that? You know, I would guess it would be. It kind of has because they kind shape. of look like tree snails. You yeah. know, the, the moon shells. Yeah. But I've seen them actually latched onto other shells. You know, attached onto them. Really? See, that's yeah. another. You're both. You're both asking me questions. I don't know. So they're so they're cannibalistic. They're cannibalistic. Huh. And some are, and some aren't. Some of them siphon just the small mo molecules that come through the water, and like, well, the, most of them do that actually. Like oysters, and yeah. So tell us about some of the other shells that are from our beach here that you have in your collection. Actually, everything on this table is from this everything beach. on this table. Everything on everything. this table. Even that cowrie. Even what? That shell right there. This came from four miles out. Okay. Four miles out, and it was given to me by a friend. And that is? Commercial. It's a deer cowrie. Deer cowrie, because it looks like a, kind of like a deer Like hide. a fawn. Like a fawn. Like yep. a fawn. Absolutely beautiful. And the deer cowrie is actually, it, they're all over the world, but the deer cowrie is the largest of its species. Of the cowries. So we are wow. honored to have the largest cowries in the world. Now here. don't get your hopes up on finding one of those on the beach here. Right. <laughs> right. This They're very just, deep. Yeah. But and, show, show them the other side. It looks but, like, but I want also, I, if I can convey, it's smooth as velvet. Uh-huh. And oh, I don't yeah. do anything to my shell. Really? I want That's them, natural. That, that shine is like that is, that is natural. That is the natural texture. And that's the way I want people wow. to see them. And then this Look is what amazes that. me. It looks like a mouth. <laughs> it looks like a mouthful wow, of teeth. Wow, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> that is so neat. <laughs> the deer cowrie. The deer cowrie. What do you think of that, Roy? You see how it you see how it looks like a deer? The height of a oh, deer? Look how smooth. Fun. Isn't that something? The smooth the smoothness is oh, Yeah, that's the it. that's the interesting part. And what, what, all these fringes here, look at that. Boy. Isn't that fascinating? There are some it's lightweight, you'd think it'd be heavier. There's some beauty. Well the animal was probably heavier, but yeah. but then I should show you something like this. That is just incredible. It's, now that's from this beach. That's from this beach. Look However, it didn't belong here. Ah. So it and there's a it came from the Carolinas. Okay. And it probably came down on the, the uh, jet stream. Interesting. And it's an olive. Uh-huh. That is beautiful. And look at the market. Oh, it's wow. Perfect. That is now one the from most incredible Wiggins olive shell I've ever seen. Is right here. Uh, and this that's is what a beautiful. we see. That's a beautiful one. We see those. The one on the left is common to our beach. The one on the right was found on our beach, but it's, not native. And not native, which means we could get shells from Africa. Uh huh. Coming yeah, across. Absolutely, with the hurricanes and everything absolutely. and the tides. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, and you notice this incredible. one has a, a nice, nice point. top point, which means it was not eaten mm -hmm. by. So um, when a, we when we find them with the the tip gone, that's because another another shell latched onto another it. Another carnivorous shell. Another carnivorous shell yeah, latched onto yeah. it. Yeah. But that olive there is just incredible. Sure, now are they teeny little shells? Are they common in South in South Carolina? Those olive shells. There he goes again. Asking oh. Yes, I would say they must be wow. if they made it all so the way if you over can, here. If you live in South Carolina, look at those beauties you could find on your beach. Look at the coloring. Wow. Coloring in shells. That is just incredible. That is absolutely amazing, yeah. Barbara. You know what I think? Show them those teeny little shells and that big shell. How, the babies and the... Are you ready for that? <laughs> That's really sure. amazing. Okay. We'll get onto that. That's just amazing. Well, here's here's a horse conch. This obviously. okay. That is a big horse conch. And and this is kind of unique because it still has remnants of a long rope that oh, it okay. created in order to stabilize. Oh wow! And probably this was attached to it at one point in time. Oh okay. Maybe not yeah, this it, one. But, but that's the egg case. That's there. the egg case. Now the egg case we find on Wiggins. So I found this in Minnesota. I got to oh, I got to You tell found you. the horse con in, in a buy, store in a store people, obviously <laughs> They buy them 
they take them up north and they don't know what to do. Don't know what to do with them. They put them in garage sales, and Barb comes and brings them home. A lot of people here they use them for plant. They put them in their garden. They make yeah. great homes for the little lizards. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place for everybody. Yeah. This this came, and this is an egg case, and you can see if, if you look carefully, each one of those little things holds babies. Wow. And when I took wow. them home and dried them out, normally there's nothing in them by the time they reach the beach. Uh -huh. But once in a while, you luck out and yep, you and find the And those the are, babies. if you really look close, Isn't that amazing? those are actually, you can actually see they're little, teeny, Perfect. tiny, yeah, perfect They're horse perfect pumps. replicas Little, of just when amazing. They grow that big, Let me see if I can I? zoom into those while you're holding them. Isn't that there. amazing? Look at that. Those are just little miniature horse conks. That is incredible. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Now I have I have seen a lot of egg casings out here. Mostly what I find out here are the lightning whelk yes. egg casings. And I've got some of those. We find too. a lot people always wonder what they are out here. But then you have to wait Look, about. I, know, I lost my focus here. I 20. hate when that happens. Got to get the camera has to refocus here. <laughs> well, it's nice, but the camera doesn't want to focus. Well, you you stretched its. I limit stretched of its limit. Let me see if I can <laughs> get it to come back here. I don't know why it's doing that. So Sometimes I can trick it. Take them to grow that big. See if I can get it back. How, yeah, how long did it take for it to grow I, from that little be, teeny tiny? It, of course, it depends on the environment and the weather and all kinds of things and the nutrition, how much food they get, so on. But you could pretty well figure that it would probably take about 25 years. 25 years to get that big. 25 years? From that, thing, from that little thing the size of a pinhead to that. To this beautiful shell. That's incredible. It really is. Now, I have it's seen some big horse conks out here, live. Oh, you have? Oh, oh yeah. I'm so glad some, to hear some that. Some big ones. We actually have, there was like a resident one that people keep seeing making its way up and down the beach here. Yeah. Yep. Should we remind people that here oh, in absolutely. Florida absolutely. that we, you do not keep shells that are alive? Absolutely not. They must, by law, and, and really by, Common if sense. you're an environmentalist and if you care, if you yep. care about it, then make sure you put it back. Yep, anything that's got, and it might not be, you might find a shell like this, it might not have a horse conch in it. It won't be this big, but it might have a hermit crab in it. It's not necessarily exactly. the original creature. There's other little critters that make their homes in the shells. Don't you love it when a, when, when a, when it gets too big and it needs to find a new home, it'll yep. find a bigger shell. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they're pretty. I was telling, I was telling Roy that I saw a video about an octopus. Yeah, they're brilliant. They play. They want to play. If you have an octopus in your tank, you have to find toys for it, really? just like you would well, your they, dog. Yeah, they say they are very intelligent octopus. Very. I I spotted one in Hanama Bay in Hawaii when I was snorkeling, and he spent a half an hour with me just going back and forth, beautiful brown eyes, wow. looking right at me. Wow. I'd go forward, he'd go back a little bit, and it was like we were playing a game for half an That's, hour. That is really cool, octopus. that is interesting. That, that reminds me of a story. Roy and I, we had picked up one of these on the beach one day, uh -huh. one of these fighting conks, and there was a little octopus in it. That's right. No. There was a little baby octopus in the fighting octopus. cock. Really? Inside the fighting cock, and it actually stung Roy. Remember that? Oh, it gripped on me. Yeah, and it gave him a little bite, a sting, and it yeah, stung I... for about 30 minutes, he oh said. My God. Yeah. I never heard that. Yep. Yeah. There's a video of it somewhere floating around on Facebook. Yeah, but it was just a little tiny baby. Yeah? But it was hidden inside of the. Yeah, I that, had that it in shell. my hand, and all yep. of a sudden, zing, I got a really zap. <laughs> well, they do, they have a, a hook on there. Yeah, on but it actually, it actually stung them. It, some kind of venom or something, uh -huh. whatever they released. But yeah, and it was alive inside. Hello, hello. <laughs> that's, that's why, <laughs> you know, be careful when you put them in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you never well, know. <laughs> they will also sting you. The, oh, those the, fighting cocks. The fighting cocks yep. are aggressive. And sadly... I haven't seen any of those alive out here since the red tide of 2018. You know, even the trees are taking a couple of years to 
yeah to get over all of the yeah yeah that. i think we'll just have to be patient that's it and nature will take its course mother nature does she can heal she heals herself and... but we need to support that yep and yep. not and not destroy good it. good message there good message i've never seen a fisherman here in this part of the well, i never have because they're swimmers well yeah you're not supposed to fish here there's no fishing allowed here that's why you haven't seen them yeah well <laughs> you saw somebody fishing he's fishing now Oh, he's catching bait. Yeah. I suppose that's fishing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no fishing. You're supposed to fish up at the north end. Well, I thought there was a designated. There is. I, it's north up by the trees yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Well, honestly. Roy can go sh shove, tell them off. <laughs> Before we go on with some shells, everybody, you know, they want to know how Roy's feeling because yeah. he had that big procedure oh, yesterday. Wonderful. Well, you look wonderful. Yeah, no problem at all. No problems. You got a big smile on your face, as always. <laughs> that's what that's what everybody likes, is that smile. That's what gets everybody going in the morning, Roy, is your smile. Well, I got a lot to smile about, that's for sure. Well, we got ex something extra now. We got Barb here with us. Isn't that right? That's even more to smile yeah. about. Oh, you guys. <laughs> no, we've got three of us going here. <laughs> and, and with that... The whole world knows that we're sitting at the beach. And yeah. I love it. I love and it. Appreciating. Oh my God. Isn't that the truth? So, it, and it's so beautiful out here today. I mean, perfect. what's it like right now up in Minnesota? It could be, you know, 30 below zero. 30 below, maybe. I know. <laughs> I know for sure that the snow banks are over my head. The snow banks are over your head. Over my head. Holy cow. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's good to be here. What do you think, Roy? Would good, you good to have you want to be you want to be here in Florida or up in Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a tough I question. Like it here. <laughs> me too. Oh you boy. You know what? The ARP, uh, the um, re the magazine that comes out with the uh, uh, retired people. Uh huh. ARP. Ten of the best places to live for longevity, and Naples was one of them. And Minneapolis was one of them. Yeah, Minneapolis is an, is a fun city. Min Minneapolis is fun. And I used very to, cultural. Yep, I used to do a lot of work up there. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. And yep. And like forty percent of the property in Minneapolis is uh, parks. Yeah, and, and there's a winter and summer park. And there's a lot of like revitalization in the city. You know, they're taking the, the older way. buildings and revitalizing. That was a that was a big thing up there. No, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful city. It's beautiful. Minneapolis is beautiful. But, but, you know, there's always a but. The but, <laughs> yes. It does get cold. Yeah, yeah. It gets cold, but it does get cold. I don't mind the cold, and I actually don't mind the snow. What I mind up there is the length of the winter. It starts in at Halloween and ends after Easter. Yeah. And that's just too long, and so I make it a point of being here in beautiful <laughs> well, southern you picked Florida. Well, you picked the perfect place to come. Not only is the weather nice, but we got great people here, too. Yeah. Great people and yeah. places like Wiggins, which yeah. Yeah. Wiggins is yeah. unusual in that it's like real Florida. Yep, Very it is. Natural, it's natural. That's why I like coming here. I mean, all of our beaches are nice, but I like this more. I'm not a big fan of the condos. People looking down at me on the beach and, and restricting how you move through yeah. on the beach. Yeah, you can't even legally. You're not even allowed to walk on the beach exactly. anymore down there. Exactly. You can only walk along the edge of the water. And here, it's just open to everybody yep. that loves. loves yep. And the, the, and all of the yeah the you nature. Watch the change of how things are happening. You listen to the ospreys in their nests yep, making that's their nests. And I mean, I know you have not seen a huge change since you've been been here. I mean, this beach has changed immensely i don't know if you've walked up to the I north haven't. end unbelievable uh, the changes have, i've i've heard that number five has changed quite yeah, a, bit. a lot we've lost a lot of beach up there oh and by the way roy yeah they are done with the dredging they are out there now taking the big you know they had like big sections of iron pipe on the bottom that yeah. so it was submerged so the boats could get they're pulling yeah. that up now from oh, the, are they? from the bottom of the pass they so they take that whole pipe away so it looks not. like the dredging is a is done unless oh. they're going to move it somewhere else i don't know further up the river there i don't know oh that pipe away that's a long pipe that is a long pipe <laughs> they're pumping that sand barbara it goes way up barefoot beach Mile from the pass there yeah it goes way up the beach it's incredible and it's kind of 
fighting nature. And, it is. And you know, Mother Nature's just going to fill it right oh, back fill in. Fill it right yep, back up exactly. again. Exactly. It's like we we always try to meddle with Mother Nature, and she wins. No matter what well, we do, know, she wins. We I come from a mining community um, up, uh -huh. the, up on the range, and our mines closed years ago, and they were open pit mines, and um, we ignored it because... They, nobody had any money and the communities didn't have any money and so it was ignored for 30 years but during that 30 years the lakes the water came up and made absolutely really? pristine lakes oh, boy. beautiful there. divers came you go down so what part of minnesota is that that is it's the cuyuna range cuyuna range and it's right between minneapolis and minneapolis i mean and <laughs> canada and um and but also the forest, rather than it just being barren uh -huh. from the slag and the overburden, trees started growing and oh, wow. plants started growing and nature took over just because reclaimed, we ignored yeah. it. Do yep. you know what we are now? What? Up there. We are the second best um, mountain bike venue in the United States. Oh, wow. And, and we are one of five that are best in the world. Wow. Outdoor Magazine last year had a, a, the list of the 100 places in the world you must visit now. And you're one Crosby, of them? Crosby, Minnesota, population 2,400, <laughs> was number 26. Nice. And we were just preceded by the Taj Mahal. Oh, wow. Wow. Outdoor Magazine. And so neat. we have become, people come from all over the world to mountain bike, which has changed our entire economy. So rather than being a mining community that's going under when mining closed, we are we are having a renaissance. Wow! New cat, new restaurants. Oh, we that is beautiful. Glamping. I didn't even what know what the heck glamping is glamping. Was. What is glamping. Glamorous camping. Glamorous camping. <laughs> glamping. 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 Aspen glamping. And we 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 have our own brewery now and everything has changed. And everybody feels good about it. Nice. Everybody's got Sounds lawn beautiful. markers with bicycles on them and huh. flower pots on the bikes. Sounds all beautiful. Painted. Sounds beautiful. And we cater to, we love our mountain bike and we have four hundred students in our senior high. Wow. That are mountain bikers now and win every championship oh, wow. in the state. Congratulations. And they're on their and so kids are not doing this all day. Right, long. not with their video games. They're yep. out on their bikes. Enjoying they're the outdoors. Slender with their uniforms. They're nice. proud and they're meeting um, Olympic athletes wow. on our on our trails. Well that's neat. That's a neat story. It that is and neat. it, it um, more than neat, it, it's kind of revolutionary. And that's really. all because of Mother Nature. It is. It's all because of Mother Nature. Well, more yep. than that also, it's all because of leadership in the community and yeah. that that had vision enough to do something about it. You know, that we protected it. Mm -hmm. and That's awesome. It took about 15 years to have it made into a state recreation area. Wow. And um, so oh, it can be go. done. Yep. Because there's a lot of communities. Small Sounds like a good good place to put on the bucket list to go visit. 26 yeah, in the Especially world. if you're a biker, <laughs> a mountain biker. Hey, let's talk about some more of these shells. Yes, yes. Let's talk about some more of these shells from the park Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Because you got some nice specimens. Things we, we see a lot of these, but we see such little ones in the morning. There's there's the whelk case. There's the whelk. The lightning whelk egg casing. People will see those on the beach, and they're always wondering what they are. They think they're sea snakes or something but that's the egg casing of that's a lightning whelk of the lightning whelk and most of them that you see on the beach would be empty uh-huh but yep. that one created that particular oh you got some one. little baby lightning I whelks too little lightning well and you'll notice that they have the long tails just oh like yeah the just lightning yep whelk. yep there Same they are coloring that is now we're going to mess up your focus again yeah we'll see we? I'm just gonna let it do it on its own instead of me Absolutely. messing with it. <laughs> Absolutely. Those and of are, course, then you. Then there's the mama. Oh, well, I boy. call them my big boys. Big boy. So I don't. 
there, there's... Yeah, are there sexes in the shells? I know, I don't know. That was his, his issue. <laughs> well, Roy and sex. Yeah, Roy's it God was, no. but I just call wow. them my big boys. That's, and, a, uh, that's a big well. Boy, I know. That is a big one. <laughs> and they do lose their sharp coloring. Like, this is one, a small one. Oh, they do fade as they get older? Yes, yes, as they get older. Yeah. Because we, we, we see a lot that size here yes. at times. At times, they're all over the beach. And then, then they, like, they then get come and go. Yep. When, you, <laughs> yep. when you want one, you can't That's find one. When someone says, when's the best time to be here? And I say, every minute of every day. Exactly. You know? <laughs> but you can see how how it's lost a lot of it. Yep. That's a nice one, though, that big one. Wow. That's amazing. What else we got over here? What else do we have? Well, and not too many times do you see something like this here. This is unusual. Wow, that is a neat it, cone. It, you know, it's only because I've been coming here for 22 and years. And that, you, you found that or did somebody give it no, to you? No, no, I found it here on the beach. Wow. And um, that, it's a cone. What kind of cone is that? Well, I think it's actually, a, it may be an alphabet cone. Okay. Because alphabet's pretty common. Right. Well, not really common, but... Yeah, I mean, I found my share of the yeah, alphabet cones yeah, here, but exactly. they're more, more the ones I find are more yellow. They're yellowish. Yeah, they're yellow. That's what. That's that, a nice size cone. But shell. it has some yellow in it, so maybe it's just an offshoot, or maybe when they get big like this, maybe they lose some of their uh -huh. some of their alphabet. Yeah. Can you read what it says? And it says. Oh, absolutely. Welcome it's and hello. It says Barbara is a wonderful person. Oh, does it say that? <laughs> yeah. Finally, listen to me, did it? Yeah. <laughs> And what? here's what you were missing for such oh, a long Oh, yeah. Time. I still haven't found a big beauty like that. I love it those. Is. And this is. I from, love those. This is from Wiggins. That is a crown and, pot. And here is one that's a fossil. Look at that. Of a crown. The king's crown. The crown conch. A, a that, crown conch. That is beautiful. That big one. And the old one, too. That is neat. Who, who knows how old that fossilized exactly. one is. Exactly. But show them the colors on that. That is gorgeous. You know, people should pay attention to the colors. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's just beautiful. It, that is beautiful. Stunning. It's just A beautiful stunning. crown conch. This is one of my favorites. I'm still hoping to find a nice big one someday. I will. I, I will. That is beautiful. If I find one and... and um, now, now you keep that nice and clean. That's pretty shiny. The ones I, I have, the ones I have, kind of get, get kind of grayish and you know, they kind of lose their them. color. That is beautiful. I do nothing with that any is beautiful. Of the, uh, any of the shells. They must like you. Well, I haul <laughs> them around here and there, so I imagine they get sort of buffed up. There you go, maybe. Yeah. Being, <laughs> look at that murex. Wow, that's a big murex. Which one? The lace murex. The lace murex. And look. then you've got your apple murex. Yep. And then you've got your. Look at that. Now, what is that? Uh, I will know tomorrow. You don't... It's a murex. That is a murex? Yeah, that's a murex. And that was found here? Yes. Yes. It, it starts with a T. That is the wildest looking murex shell I have ever seen. I will have the answer to that tomorrow. That is crazy looking. Uh-huh. It almost looks like an apple uh, it with looks, a tail. Yeah, it looks like an apple murex with a tail with a on tail. it. With a tail. That is the craziest looking thing I've ever seen. And of course, this is a Murex, only this is not from Wiggins. Oh, look at that. This is from, do you remember what I said it was from? Yeah. From the mud flats in Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Look and at I that. Pick that up. Look at all the spines. Them. And Man. speaking of spines, here's a, another fossil. Oh, wow. That I think probably had magnificent spines like this. Look at that. At some point in time. You got some crazy things there. <laughs> this some is a wild looking shell. I think this is probably um, no longer in existence. You think, yeah, that's some kind of prehistoric species. Yeah. That is wild looking. Wow. Who knows how old this could be? It could be millions of years old. It could be millions of years old. My gosh. Just, if this shell could talk, what would it tell us? <laughs> bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> It'd probably tell us all the silly years, mistakes Bob? we're making here. <laughs> Not 50 million, probably. Huh? It could be.
could be, but we just don't know. That is incredible. It's kind of like the people that were bringing right. these, these fossils. The bones, you just yeah. don't know that much about it. And that's it. You find fossils here on the beach. Do you remember that's this from last year? I remember. I forget what the name of that is. This is a, a Lazarus. Lazarus. He rose again from the dead. I don't know if that La helped. But it was given to me by the lady at, at Kelly's... Uh, Shell Shack. Um, Shell Shack. A Lazarus. What? Lazarus. And she had no Just, idea what it was, and she knows everything. You looked it up. A Lazarus. Well, we look, we clam? asked people what to tell that? us what it was. You. Yeah. Because that's you, right. Somebody. That's right. One of our friends yeah. found it. Yep. That is wild. Isn't that? It's just amazing. A Lazarus something. Some kind of clamshell or that is incredible. All the layers mm -hmm. on that thing. I wonder if those layers are like tree rings, if each layer, you know, represents a year. You know, it, it's hard to tell because, yes, you can approximate um, a thing like that. That is cool. Like you can with the whelks in that. But it's so much different. If there's a bad year or something, then it doesn't make right. any difference. So you can't be exact on it. And, of course, I have to mention, this This is not oh, from yeah. Wiggins. From me. This is from Minnesota. And it's full of shells. But they're, is... they're ocean shells. Right. And it was millions of years ago. And that's from the mines, right? That's from, from a manganese mine. From a manganese mine. Look at the fossils in this thing. Look at the fossils. There's so many there. Just goes to show how vast our oceans were at one time. Mm -hmm. This was found in Minnesota. Fossils of sea creatures, sea life. That was just amazing. And Think how this, long it took. Yeah. Our planet used to have be almost all water. It's amazing. Amazing. That young, is so young cool. People, you know, really. Yep. That's part of why I come out here, too. Is that is so neat. To, to get kids starting to ask questions about their mm -hmm. world. You know, it's so interesting. And, and um, Well, we love having you out here. <laughs> I hope, work, I hope. Terrible work, I have. Yeah, to. right. I hope some people take advantage of you being out here Tuesday, Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Thursday for the next two weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Next three weeks. And um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday from eight thirty till eight to ten. Eight to ten. Eight to okay. ten thirty. Let's eight to say. ten thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Area four. Come out here. Look at all these cool shells Barb has. I'll give you some wow stories. Yep, if you pick something up on the beach, bring it by. She'll help you identify it. Bring it if you found something on the beach and you're coming to our party on Sunday, bring it along. Plus, bring some nibbles. So we can yeah, and bring some on. nibbles, too. Roy <laughs> likes the nibbles. Bring, bring your wild stories. The wild <laughs> stories. I think, Roy, we, get, we need to wrap up our visit with You Are My Sunshine on the harmonica. Oh. Can we sing you along? Got, you can. I'll do it quietly. So oh, no. <laughs> Sing loud. Sing loud. Be proud. Sing That's loud. it. <laughs> you got it out here? I must be here somewhere. Somewhere in your bag of tricks? I think so. Oh, I love it. What time should we be here? Oh, 8.39. Okay. Yep. Whenever, you know, we I finish my beach walk and Roy gets settled in up here, people just start showing up. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna oh, be fun. Blast. We're going for a boat ride tomorrow morning. That'd be a good that time. was somebody got Roy a little sightseeing cruise for his birthday. Oh, wonderful! Yep. So we're yeah, gonna head out on the fun. boat tomorrow morning early. Hopefully, we'll be in Wiggins Pass at sunrise. go miss you are our sunshine buddy that is beautiful awesome 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 all righty well, I gotta shove off <laughs> I gotta Get back to the real world. 
this, this is real. This is. That's the beauty of it. This is real. This is really real. Hey, look, the moon is still up. Can the moon is up it? in the sky. Oh wow. Yes, it is faintly up yeah, there, but it is. Well, I think you're going to see some dolphins coming by here. I think you're going to get a dolphin show today. It's nice and flat out there, and that water is beautiful. It is. It's just getting nicer and nicer now every day, just for you and we our went, friends up we went north. Through a lot last yep. Year. Yeah, we did. did. Everybody did. Yep. To, to do it. So well, I'll see you. Su I'll see you Sunday. Barbara. Absolutely. I'll see you in the morning, Roy. That'll be good. I'll be picking you up at 6.40. 6.40. Okay. Hopefully, the Catherine will be here, too. Hopefully, your daughter will make it in. Oh, wonderful. Yep, that'll be fun. We're going to have a good time. All right, tally-ho. 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 <laughs> All right. God bless you guys. God bless you. All righty. Thanks, Barb. Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous out here. It is fun seeing Barbara. Hey, thank you so much for watching this morning. Thanks for being a friend. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Hey, I hope you learned a little bit about shells here. I hope you're impressed with Barb's collection. But I want you just I want to give you a look at this water. Seagull flying by. Look at this water. Absolutely gorgeous right now. Absolutely pristine. Look at the colors. Look at these colors. What an incredibly beautiful, beautiful sight. Well, until next time, have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.